Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So right now, all I'm doing is... Sure, well, right now, because I'm moving it quite fast. But what you're seeing here is actually a, a, a graph made of my social network. So, so this is really uh, my connections and links from... Uh, from uh, so the camera is detecting the hand motion. Right, the camera is detecting the hand motion. Uh, and it's actually right now detecting my pinch because I okay. want to be able to. Uh, I don't want every single motion. Like right, it's so actually seeing you, it, if right? Do if that. you do pinch, yes, exactly. That's what. That's okay. what so uh, this is what's happening. So we mapped it to a lot of different data. This is a, a kind of a three-dimensional graph. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that's interesting is worldwide telescope demo. Oh, interesting. So. Uh, what you see here is actually view from the sky of oh, my yeah. telescope corrected for the dome. And this is planet Pleiades. Wow. And Crab Nebula. So now it's going to teleport us around. I also have a speech control, but I don't want a speech to be triggered all the time. So I, I actually make a gesture to trigger speech recognition. Yes. And then, uh, then it recognizes a particular command. So this is Crab Nebula. And again, you know, I thought that Worldwide Telescope by itself would change astronomy, but add it to this capability. Okay, kids, let's explore the so universe. That, that's Put on your seatbelt. We, we, oh, we made this in a very kind of simple way. This is all made on I saw it from the outside. And yeah. clips. And we want to be able to, high, to get high school kids to yeah. build this in their, you know, their own planetarium. Yeah. Maybe get a modified version of a projector camera unit, yeah. and then uh, really. Uh, you know, just be able to do interactive planetariums. Yeah. Everybody goes to planetarium and all of a sudden you're sitting in and you're listening to a story. It's like yeah. playing a movie. I want people to be able to like reach in and interact yeah. with the stars. So I'll show you a little kind of time travel thing. Um, sun. Uh, so right now we're actually looking at the solar system. Yes. And you know, we can move in and see, see the sun or for example, Saturn. Oh, so, so the hands together is a speech on. Yeah, so hands together is another gesture that gets recognized for that. Again, this is it. But let's do a little bit of uh, time travel or uh, space travel. So if we do this, we can now try to leave the boundaries of our solar system. And soon you'll start noticing the stars are starting to move because we're getting to the edge of our galaxy. Yes. So all of a sudden we're doing some warping. And now you're seeing the Milky Way. This is our galaxy here. Let's keep moving some more. Now all of these are actually parts of... These are not stars. These are now galaxies. We're getting to the cosmos level and really kind of appreciating this size of things. So this is actually the extent of the known universe yes. right now, this planet here. Wow. Uh, and we just travel there with simple movements back and forth. What's on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's interesting. People always ask about why is the universe kind of our shape, yeah. our glass shape. Yeah. And really what it is is that our Milky Way galaxy is one of the good plane. Uh, yeah, it's flat and it's blinding yeah. us. We only see in two sides. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's... It, this becomes really easy to teach this particular concept. If you talk about it in abstraction, it's kind of, oh, I don't know, really get it. But when you get all the way into it, our galaxy there. You yeah, go. you see how, you know, how planar it actually is. Yeah. So, the other thing that we mapped this to is uh, Building 99. So, if you're familiar with our, our headquarters here in Redmond, uh, this is Microsoft Research Building here, and this is the lobby, and this is a high-resolution panoramic image. That How did you create the image? Uh, it was it was stitched by other people. Oh, it's yeah, it's a, it's a Photostat stitch. Uh, so we can zoom into that one. Zoom out. Well, we have some artifacts in our rendering, yeah. but but the concept is there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing that we did is so we showed you the graph and um, the roundtable demo. Oh, the roundtable actually is outside. Roundtable demo. So this is view of another Microsoft product that um, is kind of on the market already, and it's omnidirectional panoramic image, and we're just live, we, live, yeah. right now. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, Jonathan and Dan, I presume, and probably Andy somewhere around here, uh, and we're looking at how how does 
the wide omni, how does the wide uh, field of view actually impact, for example, teleconferencing? It would be really interesting to see uh, the, the possibilities there, especially since we already have the data, since we have the capabilities yeah. like that. Uh, but ultimately, I think the nice idea about this project is it's not so much about the dome. It's nice for a worldwide telescope, yeah. but it would be nice to have a camera projector capabilities in one package yeah. where you can put it into a conference room. Kind of right now we do no, no, it. It changes the... It, 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 it calibrates it itself. Depth, depth. As opposed to a depth camera, you could take this type of approach. Right. Well, in a sense, this is almost a depth camera, yeah. but, but but it's also on demand creating any interactive surface yeah. wherever, wherever you want. You can say, oh, I want this wall to be a whiteboard. Yes. Fine. Great. And now you're just drawing on it. Yeah, that it, is very cool. Um, snow globe demo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a. It's a good demo to demonstrate. This is not interactive in any way. It's just yeah. a good way to demonstrate uh, how does it feel to be actually immersed in a in a in omnidirectional. The of right. Yeah. So it's quite compelling. Why it's do you super call it simple. Omnidirectional. What does that mean? Well, for us, it kind of means it's a single, capable, single point, single of, point of, of single source, and it goes in and fills the omnidirectional. Okay. In all, okay. in, it really all not, directions. Right. It's not really. It's not 180. Yeah, that's right. I was missing. It's about 100, 170 <laughs> something yeah. degrees. Yeah. Very cool. This is very cool. And thank you, you for the time. Yeah, thank you. Great. So, yeah, thank you. Enjoyed nice. that.